Welcome everyone to Juno's with Just Comments. So we're gonna check out a video again from Bangkok first time. Of course, thank you very much for requesting this one. You guys love it and I love it even more. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. If you guys want me to react to the video, leave a comment below. And I'll try my best to react to it. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead. Okay, let's see. Dun, 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 dun. So we watched Bangkok first time with the swearing and uh, lang, the name. All the names are developed. All the names are developed in Thailand. It's a serious video, series of videos, and they're hilarious. I'm loving them. Let's see what this one's about. Basically. I'm a big fan of supernatural stuff myself. Mm -hmm. And when supernatural. I come here, I wonder how is a surreal ghost conceived in a surreal place like A that? surreal ghost. Let's see what this one's going to be about. This one's like a... Not really. Spook. I started from a five baht ghost comic. It was very cheap. <laughs> very cheap. <laughs> very addictive. The story is so fast-paced and so dragging, you would see people die in almost every episode. Moreover, huh? the motivation of killing is so simple. What? Sometimes you'd see a guy peeing on a big tree, and then suddenly he's choked to death. This is so surreal that even the comic of Joan Cornelia can't compare with so you're not supposed to pee on a tree i love the five baht comic is that you can still find traditional ghost stories there uh -huh. but you would barely find them among <laughs> this guy's hilarious the ghosts there are mostly contemporary <laughs> modernized <laughs> the ghosts are modernized way cooler than western ghosts <laughs> I ever know. the first thai ghost i got to know was gahan i was stunned by his visual impact he wore traditional thai costume of course he went topless to show six-pack abs and you know what he can even fly by using kitchen utensils <laughs> I level why did this do this at same why is one of you boy let's see I like Kisua the most because she breaks all the rules and logic created by humans. I mean, Kahong still follows physical rules by flying with wings. <laughs> Fred's voice is high because of his needle-sized mouth, which is anatomically correct. <laughs> but Kisui breaks all that logic. She can take her head and internal organs off her body so safely that even MIT would take her as a case study. <laughs> her intestines glow in the dark for a long time without using any energy. Of course. This is the biological advance that even NASA can only dream about. <laughs> the best part is she doesn't need any aerodynamic power to fly. I have never experienced anything like this. <laughs> in human aviation history, I can uh, say she is one of the oh, greatest. Wait, teams, is that a, like just a... like the Wright Brothers airplane and Yuri Gagarin. Of course, you that's a, a limb. Her magnificence know. goes even further, not only for science, she's also beyond any psychological explanation. Uh. Just think about it. If I had her power, uh. flying with light weight, night vision eyes, <laughs> and no fuel needed, I would fly over the world like crazy. I would fly to the lavender field in Hokkaido. I would fly to see the northern light in Fairbanks, Alaska. Wow. Sui doesn't care about this. <laughs> as soon as she flies off her body, she goes straight to eat. <laughs> I mean, this is so unpredictable. Why can't she just walk to the toilet and eat while she is a human? She doesn't need that superhuman power to do it. Remember when this is a ghost that eat defecation? Great power comes with great responsibilities. <laughs> He's insulting. <laughs> this guy is crazy. What? I already did. Yep. Right, yeah, Last that's, year, I just sent the question there, Skilly. I was in a small, creepy hotel in the world. Shut the <laughs> music off. <laughs> this, is, this is not a fucking <laughs> TV show. Okay, so let's start off. Okay, let's see. Last year, I came here for a vacation. Uh, I had a chance to stay in a small hotel in the world. We're tired in the I woke in the middle of the night for an unknown reason. 
Then I saw her standing there at the end <coughs> of the bed. Of course. At that moment, I felt so disappointed. <laughs> you felt disappointed. She wasn't like Thai traditional ghosts I had studied. She came in a very contemporary form. <laughs> White claw, hair skin, long hair. I knew Thai people were kind of crazy about Japanese or Korean culture. But I didn't know that Thai ghosts would be the same. <laughs> Oh, I know, this dude is something else. So what? Actually, I was very happy. Let me tell you hmm. something. If you are still young, you might feel that ghosts are scary. Yeah. But for an old man at the age of 80, like me, seeing ghosts is like watching the trailer of my future life. <laughs> I was so happy at that moment. This is she creepy. Was a bit confused when she saw me acting like that. <laughs> I would be. She started saying in the ghost voice, <laughs> could, could you speak English? My <laughs> <son starts. laughs> Help me. <laughs> Calm down, sweetie. You're only a ghost. Don't worry about present perfect. <laughs> I'd love to hear you, even if grammar is messed up. <laughs> my dear. Oh my, this is so creepy and weird. This guy is something else. He's going to teach the, the Thai ghost English. Tell me about yourself. Then she started to smile and become more casual. She then told me how she had ended her life there wow. and other stuff. I told her that I felt sorry for her loss and asked if I could help her in any way. She told me to make merit or pour holy water for her. After <laughs> I said okay, she gave me the last smile, said thank you so much, and disappeared. Creepy. <laughs> I want to suggest something to Thai ghosts out there. Uh. If you are a ghost and would like to have some merit, first thing to do, you should change your way of approaching your target. <laughs> if you want to haunt your specific target, for what is person, this dude? that's fine. But if he or she is a stranger, like my case, I recommend you do it in a better manner. Instead Ooh. of haunting them, you should do Q&A with them. Q&A. <laughs> Just think about it. You're a ghost. Uh -huh. You have supernatural power. Uh -huh. You know several things that humans don't. Oh, really? We also have many things we want to ask you, such hmm. as, what's the next winning lottery number? <laughs> Does human hell exist? <laughs> Were there aliens in our galaxy who is ultimately behind the JFK assassination? Oh, boy. How is U.S. interference in West Ukraine going to end? <laughs> How is Ukraine going to end? Why do oh. people have to... What? As you see, isn't that like a kiss? To ask. You just need oh, to appear <laughs> nicely. Then tell your target about your exchange rate. For example, <laughs> exchange one question rate. for prayer, two questions for meditation, <laughs> and giving to the monk depends on the weight of the stuff you give. Just do it this way, and you will succeed. Oh, Remember, this is it. It's all yes. You're a ghost in modern times. Don't be stupid like that. <laughs> Oh boy, this I have a lot of words to censor out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this dude is just funny. Jennifer, I told you not to play with the lights. <laughs> wow, Bangkok's first time. This is hilarious. This is, does that I have a lot of swearing to censor out. He's 80 years old, that's what he's saying. He's, he's 80 years old. <laughs> hey, look at that. Oh, this dude is something else. Of course, thank you very much for subscribing to Juno's with Just a Commentary. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. If you want me to react to it, definitely don't forget to leave a comment below and I'll try my utmost best to react to it. Thank you very much. Bye, guys.